When working with binary values in JavaScript, binary number literals can help make your source code a little bit more clear. They're helpful for defining constants and can be a nice alternative to hex numbers. Let's take a look at them. Now, a binary number literal is just like any other number literal that would appear in your code, but we're going to start it with 0b, and then for the digits after this, we're only going to be able to use 1 and 0. So we can say 0b1 here, which is going to define the binary value for 1. Now, if we wanted the binary value for 2, I can just go back here and say 0b10, and now we're going to have the binary value for 2. And you can see that Chrome DevTools is helpfully printing out the base 10 value of each of these binary values up here. When writing these binary values, the most significant digit always appears on the far left side. So if we had 100 as the binary value here, that is going to go and be a value of 4 because the most significant digit is over on the left side. We can go and add any number of digits that we'd like. So I could just keep adding digits here and create larger and larger numbers within the limits of the JavaScript number system. One other thing to note about these binary values is that they are unsigned values, so they're always going to be positive. If you wanted to, you could go and add a minus on the front here. That is just going to go and negate the actual binary value. It's not creating a signed binary value or anything like this. The binary literal itself is always treated as an unsigned integer that you are defining with the fields here. Of course, numeric separators also work in binary values, and this can help make the value a little bit more readable. So I can go into my literal here, and after every four digits, I'm going to add an underscore, which is the numeric separator, and this will just make my number a little bit more clear. You don't have to um, have it every four digits. You can add as many underscores as you would want. This is not going to affect the value. In this case, I'm just grouping everything by four because that's going to make it a little bit clearer what this value is actually representing. Binary number literals can be very helpful when defining constants to work with binary values. And I find myself using them quite often for bit fields and those type of things. So that's a quick look at binary number literals in JavaScript.